Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Kevin Holmes. I am a uh, technical lead here at Rackspace. I've been working with our SaaS customers for a few years now. I want to talk to you a little bit uh, about uh, scaling, specifically how our SaaS customers have scaled either horizontally or vertically their accounts here at Rackspace, and go over kind of the benefits of using one versus the other. So what we have here in front of you is a typical configuration that our SaaS customers might deploy here. We've got our firewall, load balancer, and storage layers. These are shared across the entire environment. We also have our web layers, app layers, and database layers too. I mentioned before some of our SaaS customers have found benefits when using a pod architecture. Uh, what that means is they take the same gear and they just duplicate it horizontally down the line. So in this instance, what you would have is you would have a, another pair of web servers that you deploy that perform the same function. You would have another pair of app servers also performing the same function. And you would have another pair of database servers. Now, these devices are completely identical to these devices here. What we can do is if we are scaling horizontally, we can standardize on this configuration. And essentially, as you fill up this, let's call it pod A, with customers, you then drop in another pod that we'll call pod B. First hundred customers can go here, second hundred can go here. We can just drop it in right down the line. This is an example of horizontal scaling and it's had very good benefit when you have customers that are wanting, or SaaS customers that are wanting to group their users into specific groups. Vertical scaling allows us the ability to not necessarily drop in a new pod, but rather increase a server in place. So in this case, we start out with a web server that's capable of performing at a certain level. Well, if we find that's not sufficient, we can just come in, make that web server bigger, and now we've scaled vertically. This comes into play when you have a SaaS customer's user that might be taxing an environment a little more than some of their other customers. If you run into that, you can actually just grow these devices in place, which allows you the ability to save cost without deploying an entirely new device, but it allows you to get better performance out for a specific user. What we've also found, especially in the case of our SaaS customers, is you'll actually see a combination of these two used. In the case of growing for additional customers that are being added, they will scale out horizontally. They'll drop in a new pod as it's needed. If they have a specific subset of, of users that are known for taxing the environment, using it, using it extensively, you can then take a specific pod and then grow that vertically. In this case, you would have pod A, B, and C, for example, and then pod A would be reserved just for those customers that utilize more resources on those machines. You could grow them vertically, allow those customers to use this, while still allowing your other customers to grow out on your standard pods. Hope this information's been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to call support. Again, my name is Kevin Holmes. Thank you.